So guess what? I'm done with the mural. It's all done. You want to see it? Here it is. So I'm going to tell you all the things in the mural. Um, there's lots of them. Um, so here's the sea turtle. He's a green leopard sea turtle. Um, let's see. Right here. These are butterfly fish. Two of them, they usually go in pairs by a sea fan. Sea fan took a while. Um, down here's a parrot fish. They like to chew coral up and make sand, I think. Um, and over here we have the octopus. He's grabbing a lobster for lunch. Right there. I don't know, I didn't like how his tentacles turned out. They seemed too perfect and light. But whatever, so. Um, oh, his eye. Um, can we go up here? And we have the parrot, the, no, this is, this is the ugly fish. I don't know what it's called. I just saw a picture of it. I thought it looked like really interesting and unique. So I put it up. It has like a, like a mustache with buck teeth. It's, it's interesting. Um, let's see. Then up here we have convict tang. These are convict tang. And there's a whole school of them. There's like, there's like, um, 50 in the whole school that I made, and it took a long time. I was sick of convict tang. And then there's um, some powder blue tang. Um, oh, here's a black tang. They like to eat the convict tang when there's no shark chasing them. The shark is chasing this school of fish. That's why they're all swimming away. Oh, and there's, there's um, yellow tang. I don't like him. I think he looks like a duck the way I painted him, so I don't like how he turned out. Oh, and then down here, we have damselfish. And they are swimming through the coral, also being chased by the shark. Um, let's see. Yeah, I liked how they turned out. Looks cool, I think. And, oh, hermit crab is down here. Hermit crab in his shell. His shell turned out nice. Um, and... Over here we have, over here we have coral in the distance. The stingray, the that's a manta ray, and they don't eat fish, so um, don't tell anyone. Um, they actually eat plankton and stuff, but I just made them chasing a school of fish because I thought it kind of looked cool. But that's not, not really how it is. But actually, I liked them without the school of fish. But then I put the school of fish there and I couldn't take it off. So, anyway. Oh, and, um, Halibut is down here. His eyes are weird, but, I don't know, it's okay. I like how he camouflages in. That actually turned out kind of neat. Um, and, oh, we have the shark. He's looking for his lunch. And, um, down here, there's some more school in the fish in the distance. I can't remember what these are called. There's a, like, yellow fin something, but... I don't remember the name. And oh, here we have a, this is a long nose hawkfish. Thank you, William, who suggested it. Um, some more coral in the distance, and then up close here, ooh, Mori eel. He's having his teeth cleaned by the cleaner shrimp. That's what they do. Imagine the cleaner shrimp, imagine being a cleaner shrimp and going in there and cleaning his teeth without having to meet you. Um, and then we have clownfish in the sea anemone. Um, this is like donut core. Well, I don't know what it's called. I saw a picture of it on the internet. I thought it looked really neat. And I needed like some different stuff. But like I don't know if it's a real type of coral. I just call it donut coral because it looks like do donuts. Um, and then, so we go up, travel up, light switch. Um, here's an angelfish. 
Uh, that does not look like an angelfish because the colors were weird and it didn't work out right, but everyone likes it. Um, oh, and the sea whips. I like the sea whips. These are like, they're called sea whips and they flow in the current and they look pretty. And then oh, up here we have um, more butterfly fish, a different type. And as you can see, let's see, I'm filming this. Um, like, there's two up there. And then over here on this little strip left, it looks like it's the school like is going behind the door. Like you see the door and the fish. Um, and here's some more butterfly fish going down and then going down. And we have some of this this maze coral. This looks really cool, but it takes a long time to paint because uh, you just paint mazes all day, and it's. I don't know, it's kind of interesting actually. It just takes patience, I guess. And then, oh, down here, a fire shrimp. It's just going along. So, that is all, I think, except, okay, um, you've already seen this, or maybe, I don't know, but um, this hump of coral here, it, it all that green stuff is um, cabbage coral. And, yep. Fish like to hang out in it, but I didn't put any fish in it. There was so much more I could put in it in the mural, but um, I didn't feel like it, and it would have been like too overwhelming, I think, if I would have put a lot of more creatures in. So here we have it. I like the. Um, I tried to make it like the whooshing effect to make it more 3D of the fish on the two ceilings, like the two sides, just to make it more like 3D, like they're going off, can't see it, they're going off that way.